Alright guys, welcome to Jurassic Room, and I want to do this video really quick, because uh, I take back everything I said about Reptile City, okay? I gave them a lot of benefit of the doubt, because the Salamanders arrived safely, but tonight, I forgot to do this, and I was going to do this anyway, I was going to send in a good review for their testimonials or whatever, because, you know, they arrived healthy, and I was happy. So, I did that, and I'll show y'all, No, this is why. Okay, so I sent this. Alright, we're going to load them all. So I sent this <coughs> from uh, my <laughs> email. <coughs> I like to say my little eight marble salamanders arrived well and healthy, although some problems with the packaging, they were just fine and healthy. There is my unboxing video and further review. Looking forward to doing business again next year. Thank you all. And uh, followed by my links for my review of uh, Reptile City and uh, for the video of me unboxing them. Then it is followed by Caller Office at uh, this number, Felton Willis, which I guess was that about the packaging problem, which I followed up with. Uh, thank you. It was nothing wrong, just my opinion. Just wanted to say thank you for all the <clears throat> them coming. Mom actually tricked me and said they weren't coming until uh, after Christmas. I, I messed up there on the... On the email so I got a shock when the mail came with a little box and of course I was followed by I see we are not big fans of unboxing we are very private people and do not want everything we do posted if we wanted everything we ship posted we would have our own YouTube page as for shipping and you comment your comment I guess about being in a little bowl what would happen if you received a shipment of 200 salamanders like you get that many as we do, would you expect them t to be in a bowl? They would not live. It's best to pack them loose with paper on top as our package was. Therefore, your comment was totally wrong! Exclamation point. Which shows you know nothing about shipping. But people see these types of videos and think we did something wrong. At the end of the day, that's for the order, but would rather not have a video about us with information that's not correct. Thanks, Felton Willis. And I followed it by, a bowl is just a container with holes. It's just the general practice. I meant no malice. I was very happy uh, with the animals and wanted to send in a positive review. Thank you all again, and Happy New Year. So I took the high road. But anyway, uh, yeah, and this part of the video, <laughs> I'm actually going to talk to uh, my friend <laughs> Wes at Pet Supermarket, and we're going to ask him. And I'm going to cut that into this video, which is why it's not going to be out till probably Sunday. I don't know. But yeah, typically when you ship live animals, specifically amphibians, you ship them in a little cup, and I don't have one with me right now, but they're just little plastic cups with a lid and little holes around them. They're called bowls. In some places, they're called cups, they're called bowls. <clears throat> in the pet shop I used to go to, they called them bowls. And typically you send them with turtles or amphibians, something that needs to be wet because it holds in the humidity, and you put in a rat, a little paper towel with, that's wet or some wet sphagnum moss. That's the general practice. Underground reptiles does it. Uh, backwater reptiles does it. I'm pretty sure Triple L reptiles does it. Everyone does it. Even people, uh, I, I mean, Sun Pet ships them in sometimes with bowls I've seen. Uh, sometimes they ship them in bags, but mostly bowls to keep them alive. That's the general practice. Not sending them wrapped up in paper, uh, in the newspaper, with sphagnum moss in the middle. And with holes filled in with a box cutter. And when you pay $40 for priority, or uh, not priority, li the, you know, the live shipping, you typically don't see priority mail on it. That's my point, Mr. Willis. That is not general practice, and it's your fault you charged, or you did this deal where you go over $100, you get free shipping. And I called asking if that would include the $40 live animal shipping, which should include live animal on the box. And uh, your assistant or wife or whoever it is, Nina, I forget her name, said it did. And uh, I even asked my mom about it, and she said, yeah, she actually paid it, uh, not me not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So, it is on you. You had the burden of that price.
uh, kind of burning out here. You had that burden. And you are not, you may be a private business, but you're not private to people doing reviews on your, uh, your content of what you're sent and you're sending. It's no different than someone doing a review on an Amazon shipping order that's coming in or an unboxing. It's no different. It's your product. I bought your product and I unboxed it on video. You did the rest by how you package these animals, which are animals. And you can see the video. I'll leave the links in the description. They arrive. I opened it in this box. You open this box first. There's barely any air holes for them to breathe in. Let's try. <laughs> oh, probably going to get salmonella now. In this little box, wrapped in paper, and they were so dry, I didn't know they were going to live. They were pretty dry. They weren't moving around much, but once I got them wet, they started moving around. If I'm just saying this was why I was so mad. If they, if a shipping had gone wrong or something, and people did not see that this was live animals because you shipped them on priority, they would have died. You would have costed me what I saved for Christmas, and what you know my family saved to help me do this for Christmas because I love these animals. That's over a hundred and twenty dollars. That uh, you would have screwed me and my family on. And. I could have let all that go, but you had to see to be a douchebag like you have to almost every one of your uh, customers, of which I saw all the reviews for. There are hardly any re good reviews for your website uh, g regarding any kind of reptiles, turtles specifically, and newts. You have a poor track record. So I thought part of it was because I was greedy, I wanted the marbled salamanders. Two is because I wanted to give a chance because I saw some pretty good testimonials and they arrived safely and alive. But you had to go off on this little tirade and uh, put this. Which, uh, what would happen if you received a shipment of 200 salamanders as we do? Uh, I'm pretty sure that you don't get them in newspaper otherwise uh, you people you order from are just as bad as you they're not that expensive either little the little cups are only a few cents on sun pet and that's probably the only p place you can buy some good stuff from there you don't want to buy their animals would you expect them to be in a bowl they would not live of course they wouldn't live in a fish bowl Actually, they probably would have been safer in the fishbowl. They would have been all together with sphagnum moss, and they'd have a whole top open for air. But here's the part. Your comment was totally wrong, which shows you know nothing about shipping. But people see these types of videos and think, we did something wrong. Yes, you did, sir. You promised this was shipping. You did. And you're going after me because of your poor business practices, which I paid for the best of your bad business practices. So, as ending point, if I add that little clip of Wes or not, I don't know because he's usually a busy guy. I might just upload it real quick. Never doing business with y'all again, for one, because you obviously have no regard for these animals that you're shipping. Uh... Because I obviously pointed that out, and it is general practice, and it is not that expensive. And if you're only selling a few animals on your, what is it, 25-acre ranch, uh, you can obviously afford a few cups to send these animals in. If not, charge full price like other people. Don't do these crappy deals to get people to buy your animals. If you worked on your uh, ways of shipping the animals as well as your attitude... You would have a good business. I mean, look at Underground. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Ethan, I always forget his name. Cool guy. Really good with the customers. They go the full length to make sure that those animals are shipped uh, properly. Cups, bags, wherever those animals need to survive. And they charge full price for what they have. And they are a good business from what I can see and what from I've known of them. But that's my little tirade for you guys. I'm not buying from them again. I recommend you don't either. I think the best option would to be go with 
underground or backwater, although I've never tried backwater. But frankly, backwater would probably be less expensive than y'all. I don't know. Maybe if uh, it chilled out a little bit, I might, because there was only one animal I really wanted to buy from y'all, and that was the spotted salamanders possibly next year. But really, I'm just going to save up and buy a... Uh, Looking at next, you're getting a chameleon and some axolotls from underground. But that's it, guys. Just want to post that. And I probably won't add that little clip of Wes because he's a busy guy. I don't know. I might just have it as a little snippet uh, on the channel later on. If y'all do see it, hopefully y'all do. It'll be sort of a part two or whatever. It'll only be me asking if that would be general uh, go a good business practice. To send salamanders wrapped in newspaper. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and hope y'all enjoy this little tirade. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, salamanders are still healthy. You know, they're all good. So, and this was the only reason why I'm doing this video. Because I was going to let everything else go. But you had to insult my intel intelligence when I have been buying these animals for years. I obviously care more about these animals than you do. And so do a lot of other people, which is why they are sending the word out, don't buy from y'all. I should have listened. I don't know. My animals arrived healthy and alive, almost didn't. If something had went bad, they would have most assuredly died.